this is weird, scientists at UC Davis have begun injecting human stem cells into pig embryos. They're producing what they're calling hybrid human pig embryos. The idea, of course, is that we will one day be able to grow human organs inside of pigs. Uh, they should look and behave, should, like normal pigs, except that one organ will be composed of human uh, stem cells. Now, we'll come back to this whole should thing because scientists are still not sure about the repercussions of this. Uh, it could uh, open up some pretty scary doors and we'll get there. But let me just first explain to you what the hell I'm talking about here, okay? So they'll take a pig embryo and through genetic editing, they will take out whatever part was to make, let's say they want a pancreas, uh, they take out the part that would make the pancreas. In that little void, in that genetic niche that they got, they will inject human stem cells in hopes that when the pancreas does grow, it will be grown with these human cells. And therefore, we're using this pig basically as a biological incubator. Instead of growing it in a lab, we're growing it inside of a pig. So if we weren't fucked up enough to pigs and other animals, well, now there's this, and uh, it's pretty disgusting and gross to say the least. You know, but you necessary, can, obviously, you can because... You see the potential in this, however. Yes. Obviously, uh, people who have to have organ transplants, who have a liver failure or a pancreas failure, you know, maybe one day people who have pancreatic cancer will be able to just replace the pancreas with another pancreas that we grow in an animal. That's the sad part. The sad part is that we are having to use uh, these animals, these innocent animals, uh, for testing out these methods. And obviously, in the early stages, where we learn more and more about genetic modification, it is the animal animals that are losing out. Uh, we saw with Dolly the sheep, it brings me back to the early example when they were trying to clone her, that she yes. died at a very young age. And we're going to see this more and more as they do test out these methods on animals. It is, uh, I was going to use the word inhumane, it is uh, not, it, it's not right. Obviously, I'm sure animal protesters Peter, all the rest of it, are going to be up in arms about this. But you can see that later down the line, once they do get these methods under control, it will obviously have, uh, you know, remarkable potential in terms of developing organs that we can put into the human body. Right, and so th they are in the infancy of this, and you're right. For now, it's going to be I extremely gross and terrible for these for these animals that, that have to endure this kind of stuff. But down the line, hopefully, um, you know, we should have better technology where we won't need to do it to these animals. But just when you think that this is this sort of like vegan revolution going on, people becoming more conscious of the environment and all these things, and maybe we're gonna, you know, you get a little hope for humanity in the future and the environment, you, 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 we come up with things like this and it's like, oh wait, we're gonna totally need ginormous farms of animals to be, you know, these, these organ farms basically. So it's not gonna go away uh, anytime soon. So let me tell you why this is potentially terrifying. Um, so the scientists, the main concern is that they don't know the effects of the actual brain. Now the brain, after the, de the developing stages uh, of the embryonic stage, there's human cells in there. So they don't know if there's going to be human components to the brain as well. So we could potentially be creating this half human, half pig creature that is just, who knows what, terrifying, if you ask me. I mean, it, so they don't know really where they're going. So for that reason, the human pig embryos are being allowed to develop um, for only 28 days and then they're gonna terminate it oh. um, because they don't know where it's gonna go. They're gonna, they're gonna harness some of the uh, cells of the organ or what would be an organ and then they're gonna do tests on it. So like I said, we're in the beginning stages of this, but they don't wanna let it live too long because they're scared that there's gonna be more human components to this pig than we want. And presumably, even if you did grow an organ, a human organ inside a pig's body successfully, when you transfer that back to the human, how are we going to test that out for the first few times? They're definitely willing to sacrifice a pig, right. kill the pig at 28 days. Maybe there's some contamination. Oh, well, it's just a pig. We'll kill it. Disease, How are they yeah. going to test that out in the early stages with the first human to receive an organ grown from a pig and not be sure that there's not going to be some kind of contamination, crossover viruses, all the rest of it? Right. There's been a lot of scares like swine flu, for example. So, yeah, that is a scary thought. And this whole thing, if you ask me, is a scary thought on a... <laughs> It's fucked up on many levels, right? Whether we're talking about the environment or we're talking about, you know, just the ethics, the morality behind injecting a pig with stem cells in the embryonic stages to grow organs for our own uh, reasons. So, what do you guys think about this human pig embryo hybrid? If you ask me, it's scary, but if you ask someone else, it might be very necessary.